Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. The final shape is the culmination of a 10 year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome, took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef, and beyond. It's a journey that'll end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. But facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2. And it's definitely not the end of Destiny. After you face the Witness, we're gonna tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2 and beyond. We'll see you soon. The Final Shape has been an amazing project to work on. The amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements coming together has been inspirational. I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I think that we're gonna have a pretty big impact and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. Ooh. Well, the full screen chat or is so good? Cool. All right. Einfach neue Gegner, voll geil. Ich muss nur 10 Jahre warten. Mega. In den nächsten 10 Jahren kriege ich dann krieg ich wieder neue Gegner. Mega nice. Ich freue mich, wenn ich jetzt bin. <lacht> Entschuldigung, ein bisschen sticheln muss. Okay. Aber ist geil. Bis jetzt finde ich geil. We are going into the pale heart of the Traveler, and the Traveler has chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image of a Guardian with sein. light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really need this in the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a Guardian, to build light and darkness at the same time. We build Prismatic exactly to be that. Prismatic what? is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities from oh, different nice. damage okay. types also, together. Getting light and and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. There's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, oh, it God. fills the yeah, respective yeah, sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, yeah. you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love Transcendence because Trans you do these cool okay. motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunters oh, are going to do this cool, like... The Titan Warner's skull. While you're Transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The Hunters <laughs> get this fire and ice combo of Titans, Strand, and Arc. From the Warlock, okay, geile Stasis, Sachen, and Void together. Yeah, das wird hart ne Party, so. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence, so you can loop them together, one after the other. <laughs> That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of combinations. 2,300. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just the art director. I think that Prismatic feels like you are doing <laughs> combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game-breaking, I'm not gonna lie. A, a little, a little bit? Ah, wisst ihr was das heißt? Du kannst mit You're Strand rumspringen like, oh no. und dann trotzdem noch die voll I'm geilen starken it. Fähigkeiten rausnehmen von den anderen.
it's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multi at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert. As in an order of stasis, we're transcending the kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people, and now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian Here feel very uniquely you. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, but wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens and then you blow them up as well. And it's like, okay. I didn't think I could ever do those two things at the same time. And you're telling me I can do as much as I want. You so throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people alles. and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged, right? And so like certain interactions oh, nice. I think get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive, a little bit, a little bit looser. I think when we play test, I'm probably going to be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges. And then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control, or you can throw a Devour. And so you're, you know, jumping in, lightning surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain, effectively, to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with, like, the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very, like, fun, destructive, der You can clean that stuff up pretty easily with, you know, an arcane needle melee, so which has three charges. Mit, mit Those ability kills will activate schwächen, Devour, ne? which gives you more grenade energy every time Devour activates, so lets you loop your Bleak Watcher. And so you can have, like, multiple Bleak Watchers out on the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just, like, launching your cool strand melees out, and everything's dying, and it's great. Yeah, but which aspect do I also habe ich nehme ich dann den Strand Aspekt, bei dem ich dann die Fähigkeit des Strand kriege oder den Solar Aspekt, also dass ich den, also weißt du, bei den Granaten und Nahkampf und Super und so, das ist klar, da ist einfach eins raus, aber die Fähigkeiten, die du auswählen kannst, im Hintergrund verstärken ja teilweise die Granate oder den Nahkampf und so. Und was, I'm just also, looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me uh, and I'm, I'm really excited mm -hmm. about that. 200, 300. <laughs> If the neuen, I glaube, it's Harpien, I guess. That's good. This is the twist, was unendlich kommt es zum Ausprobieren. Gut, wenn es unbeschränkt ist, stelle ich es mir im Hard OP vor. Nice. Solarnahkampf. Warte mal schnell, warte, wenn er, wenn er rutscht, geht er in den Solarnahkampf und wenn er sonst im Nahkampf ist, geht er in den in den, äh, den Strand-Nahkampf. Strand. Yo! Okay. In the final shape, we're going to be making these new exotic class items. These new exotic class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together into one single exotic. Oh, here we go. The perks that come on them are actually random rolled. One thing that is gonna be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well. These new class items are all about prismatic and making that 
feel good. So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. <laughs> With these class items, we wanted them to stand out this is as this special. Is a bit they have these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get, for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build, a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite and also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We wanted to feel a little broken. <laughs> it definitely felt like I had two exotic ah, in my cloak, which a little broken. is kind of the intention. Yeah. We want that to feel like you're better than the I think that's the chat in five minutes. It just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like in what becomes the meta. They look amazing. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even from classes that aren't you adds this element of spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds okay das macht die variation noch mal viel größer also das es gibt einen teil der community der sagt wir grinden viel zu wenig mittlerweile in destiny das würde den grind noch mal massiv erhöhen vermutlich in die richtung wo es die leute die das sich darüber beschweren wollen also ja. Die Richtung, in die sich entwickeln soll. Red are this new witness faction. When you see these new <laughs> characters, not only <laughs> do they look combination. unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years oh. that connects it all together. And you've seen a member of the Dread before. Green. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This is like the embodiment of the witness in these new enemies. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have. In Destiny, I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. You know, it's this primer. bat with a gun. The gun bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. It it immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. The Husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful, because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk, the geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you the out. The geist? A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. 
the weaver and the attendant okay, also man muss sie, man muss sie richtig töten, ansonsten kommt der Geist. Ions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you, that will freeze you. They have mm -hmm. a strand ability that will pull oh, you across the battlefield. The fact that you can pulls. get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the fight. I was guy that's the weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back. <laughs> and like snaps and that like pulls you <laughs> towards that character as one character doing that to you yeah you can handle it as soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you mm -hmm. in different directions towards you you have us. to approach it in a different way we're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape it just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this it's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. Die, wie hieß die Mission nochmal, wo the da auch so Dings waren und am Ende war der Hüter in der Mitte mit den ganzen Fäden und so, die dahin waren? Das Experiment von Kalus war das, glaube ich, auf dem Schiff. Ich weiß nicht, wie die Mission heißt. Sieht ein bisschen so aus. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Kann sein, dass sie ein bisschen gut zwischen war. Okay. Haha, <lacht> das ist ein geiler Übergang. Soundtechnisch richtig sweet. War das Schiff. Ja, die, mein, die Mission meinte ich. Ja, also die, die, diese Grey meisten, glaube ich, ne? die sind schon geil aus. Da kommt der Geist. Fluch heißt mir, ich habe was nachgeschaut. Danke. Ich krieg neue schöne Cutscenes. Hi, Kate. Long time, no see. shape approaches and the forces of the witness surge at the borders of the city lord shax has been authorized by the vanguard das. to place the vierter nein vierter sechser weapons from his die amis haben es gedreht back into circulation powerful gear for a powerful guardian good luck careful with that weapons we once deemed heretical we now see his desperate measures. <laughs> I know you'll use this well. Fight well. All right. Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I can't wait to see what you do with that. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. Nice. Lux als Symbol und Alright. 
Show me what you've got. So if the enemies of humanity want war, let's give them war. I love to see it! Die Einsiedlerspinne, ja. Ja, ich glaube, Bungie haut einfach raus. Ich glaube, die hauen einfach raus. Jetzt mit Into the Light, ne, einfach have fun, go for it, tupp dich aus und mit Final Shape auch hier, mix alles, was du willst, mix exotische Sachen, wie du willst. Have fun, good luck. Okay, cool. Gut, das war die Vorstellung von Final Shape und ein Teil von Into the Light, wenn ich es jetzt richtig gesehen habe. Lassen Sie... Wir machen so, wenn ich das auf YouTube hochlade, ne? Ihr wisst ihr Bescheid. Like da lassen, Kommentar da lassen, gerne Feedback da lassen. Und ihr auf Twitch könnt auch gerne mal in der Chat schreiben, was ihr von der ganzen Sache haltet. Das ist cool. Bin gespannt. Ich bin super gespannt.